everybody, country singer Brett Kessel here and I'm gonna give you a tour of my bus. Woo! Buses often can be, you know, temperatures vary, so sometimes it gets a little bit warm, so I have a bus sweater. I have to take off my coat and I put on my bus sweater. Welcome to my home. A lot of you may have been on a bus before, you know, kind of a, a nice pimped out RV. However, this one's really cool. I'm so happy to have this. We've got a really great uh, control thing. Uh, I, I don't know what any of this does, but all my sound guys, they know how it works. This little thing apparently is called an Apple TV. This little thing. That is the best invention ever. We watch Netflix right here. We just hang out, we watch movies. Let me also introduce you to uh, the fine uh, eye candy on the bus. This is Becky Locke right here. Tyler Volrath, our fiddle player, belongs to her. So if he's ever Ever lost or missing call her she uh, does merchandise for us jack of all trades we love this girl this is my wife Cecilia CC this is her spot and Charlie spot this is where she does social media and answers a lot of tweets Ooh. and Facebook and gets everybody <laughs> ready um, this whole area there's 11 of us living on the bus and this entire area is where we all sit we hang out we drink we talk about the shows and check this out every bus needs this a deck of cards we play cards all the time our favorite game blackjack and I'm the banker and uh, so far our monitor tech, Chesty, he's down about 139 bucks. Cool. Come get a shot of this. Um, it's kind of just a natural progression. You know, we, we start with wine. We start, you know, we all like red wine on the bus. We start with that. Then we move to something a little bit harder towards, uh, you know, the end of the night. Uh, right now all we've got is absolute vodka. We ran out of whiskey, had to switch to vodka. And then you wake up in the morning and you need a little bit of this. A little bit of Advil. There you go. And then you have some coffee. This is Marty McKay, everybody. Maddie McKay, we call him Marty. He did a hell of a job actually cleaning this bus, organized all these cupboards. Bus tip number one. Organization is the key. We've got coffee, we've got snacks, we've got this and that. We've got some dog treats. These are called thunder treats uh, from one of uh, Brad Paisley's crew. He loves our boy Charlie. Come on, everyone in Brad Paisley's crew treats him like their own little son. And we're very appreciative of that. So we got some treats for Charlie. Another bus tip. Keep things clean. I've been on so many buses and they're disasters. Uh-uh, that's not the way to live. We've been on this tour for two months. Keep things clean. Um, have candles. When you get lots of people on the bus, you need some good smells once in a while. Another bus tip, have some games, <laughs> little games, catchphrase, best game invented. Um, it's awesome. I would say I'm probably the best at this game. I Becky's think I won overall, once or twice. I, I wasn't there that day. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> yeah. This bus is great. We actually have three fridges. One, uh, well, two fridges and a freezer, which is great. Um, inside, stocked with things that everybody needs. As they say, treat yourself to the finest. That's what we do in the Brett Kissel Band. Microwave, cupboards, restroom. This is important. Um, everybody knows, you know, I'll just plan out, go and say it. No number two on the bus. That's that's a that's a tip. It's just, it's a great, it's just a standard little restroom, but um, Boy, oh boy, does it ever uh, beat traveling in a 15-passenger van. Now, let's go to the bunk area. So everybody's got their own bunk. Uh, you know, from time to time, guys, you know, kind of practice in the bunk or, you know, it gives an opportunity to, you know, maybe talk to their spouses or whoever they've left uh, back at home. We have a, a junk bunk. Bus tip, get a junk bunk. That way you, you can throw all your suitcases, all your things that you don't need in the bunk. As you can see, I mean, there's, I mean, there's not a ton of room. It's not really a lot of room for activities. Becky and Tyler, uh, they they make it successful. Becky's just little, she can, she can fit anywhere. Some other people, and not so much. Bus tip, never sleep with your head in the direction in which the bus is going, because if they got a slam on the brakes, broken neck, done, you're dead. Headline news, because you die. Don't do that. Head up here, legs this way. That's how you do it. Let's go. Here, this is a junk bunk, you know, for guitars and stuff like that. Uh, this is Tyler's bunk, Tyler, our fiddle player. Oh, I didn't realize I had company. As you can tell, I'm not overly impressed with the amount of space allotted for me to hone in on my craft of playing this fiddle. This is not an acoustically tuned environment. The humidity is all wrong. They stuck me in a bong and they made me wear these stupid pink pajamas. Oh! <laughs> that, that was legit. <laughs> Marty, you're, you're going to get it. I don't know when. Oh, you are gonna get it. Not over yet, Marty. <laughs> I have some practicing to do, so please carry on. Well, uh, Cecilia and I were lucky that we get our own space in the back while the chaos goes on out here. Uh, we get our own space. Let me show you the back. We call it the 
honeymoon suite. Check it out. I mean, it ain't fancy. You know, singers will tell you that uh, at least we get a chance to uh, spend that time together. We got some closets for our own stuff. We do have a big old TV. We got closets in the back. Um, if you're cold, like I'm cold all the time, bus tip, get yourself a heated blanket. Going to change your life. Also, bus tip, before I learned about this tip, my neck was always wonky from sleeping on the bus because you're going up and down, you know, rumble strips and up and down mountain passes. So you just put on one of these and then you are just fine. I'd like to tell you a little story. Back when I was young, I had an assignment in school. I had to draw my dream vehicle. While other children were drawing Ferraris and big trucks with big tires, tractors and hovercrafts, I drew a bus. A big one. It had lips on the side. Brett Kissel is what it said. I remember doing well in that assignment. Now while all these other kids are looking back on their childhood with fond memories and still likely not driving in Ferraris. They may be. A lot of them do have their big trucks and tractors. Nobody owns a hovercraft, I can guarantee that. I'm very lucky to finally get my bus. Everything I've ever wanted is on this bus. My band, my wife, my dog, my guitars. Life is great and I had a dream come true. The end. There's one last thing I want to show you guys about the bus, and it's underneath. Let's check it out. She's a little cold and she's a little windy out here, but it's so great. We get to travel with all of our gear underneath the bus. Storage is key. That's a tip for living on a bus. Storage is key. We'll show you where we put all of our guitars and suitcases. Right underneath here, we got all of our stuff. Our Brett, can, yeah, I need in here. Can you, uh, can you grab my bag? It's back in that yeah. back corner. While well, you're in there, anyway. So what we do is, hey, 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 hey. And that's it for the tour of the bus. Hey, 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 hey.